Hey y'all, it is your favorite nerdy girl here, Nerdy Girl Reviews, aka Ross Barron, and we are back with another Dollar Tree haul for all the Valentine's Day goodies and some routine stuff that we needed for the house. So stay tuned for all the cutie details. Can you see my heart? Can you see my heart? Ah, there it is. <laughs> stay tuned. Now let's get the mundane out of the way. Yes, my paper towels from Dollar Tree, not bad. These are 100 sheets, but again, still still quite the savings, especially where uh, my Dollar Tree is located. You're still getting much more um, than your average paper towel. Even though, they, yes, they run on the thin side, but nonetheless, I'd rather have them than not. So, if you see them, grab them. Speaking of necessity, Necessities, of course. We're still very much in cold season, and yes, my puffs are back finally. They had they hadn't been at my local branch for a while now, and uh, yeah, the, I think they went back up. Now it's 96 again. It used to be like 84 um, per box, but now you can see 96 sheets to apply, and they come in these beautiful patterns: nice solid pink or nice floral, uh, turquoise and pink. Not bad for $1.25. And of course, my batteries, always essential. You always need them for flashlights and emergencies. So I was running low on my AAA. They have AA, they have Cs, they have Ds. They even have uh, batteries for watches. But this is by their E-Circuit line, super heavy duty. Can't go wrong, six in a pack. Now their E-Greeting signs, their uh, E-Greeting <laughs> just tells you how how we're so adapted to digital. Are their greeting cards at Dollar Tree are very detailed, very pretty, and believe it or not, the, these in particular are still 50 cents, so you can't go wrong. And uh, yes, birthdays are coming up, so I thought I'd take advantage. So I got two, so not bad for a dollar. They're really beautifully detailed, and they come with this really nice envelope, so I picked up two. And guess what's back, y'all? That's right our very cutie candy jar with lid so I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be using these for Epsom salt like chic on the cheap as suggested because now I have my little scoops just because of the simple fact that I'm more of a shower girl than say like a nice relaxing bath as often as I would like sometimes I just don't have the time and I don't want my Epsom salt to harden because I get a feeling that might happen so I might still i'm gonna use the same concept with the scoop but it might be like coffee grounds so we'll see but nonetheless they are back y'all if you can if you find them snag them these are really really beneficial tool for your kitchen and bathroom candy jar with lid can't go without my andes i love my andes chocolate mints these are really really good in a pinch and if you're just watching a nice cute movie not bad you can see the calories aren't anything outrageous and i think honestly it's a perfect alternative if you don't want to go super decadent when it comes to the chocolates this uh valentine's uh weekend you know you can you can splurge without without feeling uh guilty soon after i meant to say indulge without the the guilt <laughs> but yes moving on now their doll houses are back like i mentioned uh, Bar bargain bethany had mentioned months ago for a halloween um video that she had done where she also was influenced by another youtuber tiktoker who took these doll houses and were able to convert them into this like look how spooky that is so i was able to take something like this and turn it into this for background props and i think i might do it for this uh this version you can see the different pattern for the house the house is totally different here the door is on in the center this is kind of more to the side and you can see these two windows up here and they're distinctive from this but nonetheless they're great and if anything also they can also be great gift for easter now that's coming up if you have a little one this is a really nice gift and it comes with all these other attachments sofas beds dollies not bad for a dollar 25 you could put them in a basket but i'll be using them for background um, for either Halloween of next year or you know at the end of this year and uh, perhaps maybe uh, for spooky reviews that I have impending so I still have to review Scream so stay tuned for that 
the the new scream which i forgot to mention it's not the 1996 one i've done that already and i can link that down in the description box but i'm talking about the scream 2022 which was really rad stay tuned for that now speaking of uh cosplay and getting into the whole feels of uh fantasy I, I came up across these and i love the, their sunglasses when they bring this particular brand i don't even think it's a particular brand but it's a particular um design that they bring to the dollar tree you can see it just says sunglasses lunettes maybe it's lunettes to soleil you know forgive me if i'm mispronouncing but i love this one and i have a, a black pair just like this and uh, I love the white. It just kind of gives me a very mod-like, um, you know, feel. That's why I love them, and I picked up a pair. And these look very villainous, right? Am I alone to think that? Because look how sharp the edges are. Really cool. I think they're really great. They'll be great for, like, impending reviews. And you know my cosplay, so you already know. And look at the detail. I'm going to show you the details inside of this particular uh, pair. How cute are these? They have little hearts. That's why I know that I already own a pair because my black ones also have like that heart detail. So yeah, if you come across them, they're really cute. I think they're great for, even for the summer. Pick yourself up a pair at your local Dollar Tree. Now since so, so we're giving updates and I just wanted to show you guys, yes, I was able to complete my XOXO sign. You'll be seeing them in coming upcoming reviews. And I was able to paint the inside reds and pink. And yes, she stands up on its own, you know, very similar to the Target uh, sign. And uh, as opposed to me spending almost $11, $12, $13 dollars plus tax, a dollar and a few chains. I mean, you know, I had spray paint, but again, even if you factor that in, it's still way less than Target's version. And it looks just as pretty. So, XOXO. <laughs> I got some labels too, because just in case I want to label these nice candy jars, I have a number of them now. Or if I just want to label other things, you can't go wrong. This is by their Jotline, 40 piece a set, and they come in these nice circles and squares and rectangles, really nice patterns for just $1.25. And yes, y'all, finally, my local branch has bought their garden, garden collection, garden tool hanger. I've been wanting to get these since they started getting really popular on YouTube. They're perfect. I mean, obviously, if you are gardening, you have a nice garden, or, you know, you want to keep your tools and you know in a nice tidy way you can see you have that you have a shovel and a rake and you can kind of keep them out of way with these really nice hangers i'm going to do it in my home for my brooms and mops but i've been anticipating for them to bring these and just the fact that they did i am so ecstatic and i'll let you guys know is it really worth the dollar 25 if they hold up because you know my brooms are okay but they're not super light so i'll keep you guys updated and lastly, yes, I had to indulge. Sorry, I love Valentine's Day in my own way. And I'll be doing a couple of reviews of non-traditional Valentine's Day's movies. But I had to I had to kick in for the decor. So if you see it in your in my background, don't be surprised. But I just loved it. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day weekend, y'all. And uh, let me know if you've liked my haul, if you've liked what you've seen, if any of the items interest you, and if you come across them in your own local branch. Let me know in the description box down below. If you like what you see, give us a like, give us a share. If you'd like to follow my channel, hit the subscription button and the notification button. And stay tuned for my next DIY, my next haul, and my next review, y'all. Until next time, XOXO. Nerdy girl.